Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a recovery partition in Windows 7. I'm also going to show you how to recover from that partition in case your computer crashes. So let's begin. Right click computer and then click on manage. Here, click on disk management. I have partitioned my drive C to do this, leaving 20 gigs for the operating system and 40 gigs available for me to play with. If you want to learn how to partition the hard drive like this, the link is in the description box below. Now right click on the unallocated space and click on new simple volume. In the wizard, uh, click on next. I'm going to set the volume size 5 gigs bigger than my operating system partition. You can always go bigger or same size but not smaller. Then click Next. Now you can assign a different drive letter or you can keep the same drive letter. I'm gonna set my drive letter to be Z and then click Next. I'm gonna change the volume label to Image. Leave everything as is and then click Next. Click Finish to the wizard and now you have successfully created the uh, partition we're almost done we're halfway so now that we have created a partition we're gonna close here and close this window too click on start and then search for backup backup and restore this is the top one here click there and now here click on create a system image it automatically detected my image partition now it's giving us a warning that the drive selected is on the same physical disk so I would recommend you to do this on a different hard drive or on a different hard drive on a different partition now click next now the confirmation so everything is gonna be backed up to Z and the following drive that are going to be backed up and now click on start backup this process will take around 20 to 30 minutes when the backup is done it's going to ask you to create a recovery disk now I would recommend you to do the recovery disk so you can use the disk to recover from the uh, recovery partition you can also use the installation of Windows 7 disk to recover from the partition. In my case, I'm just going to click on yes so you can see that I can't because I'm using I'm using a virtual uh, operating system. But remember, click on yes. I'm going to cancel out of here and close here. My backup hacks has successfully completed. And now I'm going to verify by right clicking on computer and then click on manage. Then click on disk management and go into the image uh, partition by right clicking on the partition and then clicking on open. And here I have the uh, Windows image backup folder. Perfect. Now we're going to put it to the test. So we're going to close this Windows here and I'm gonna turn off my uh, computer and reboot using Windows 7 installation disk because I could not create the repair disk remember so now when you reboot with the disk in the drive it's gonna ask you to press any key to boot from CD or DVD press enter using Windows 7 repair disk it should be the same the difference between them is that you cannot install Windows 7 from this from the repair disk now here click on next and then instead of clicking on install now click on repair your computer from here you can actually click on the restore your computer using a system image radio button here and then click next you can recover the uh, computer from here 
but you have more options. So I'm going to click cancel here and from the system recovery options you can also click on system image recovery now from here you can choose the uh, location of the image it's reading it as image e, my drive E and the date and time you can create multiple if you want to I'm gonna leave it default because this is the only one I have created and I'm gonna click on next now in this window here you have more options I'm gonna leave everything def default but you can always click on the advanced option but I'm not gonna go over that right now so I'm gonna leave everything as is and then click on next the same here I'm just gonna click on finish and then click yes now this process takes around 20 to 30 minutes and it's restoring my drive C now once it finishes it's going to restart remember to remove the disk from the drive and you will have your operating system up and running exactly the same way you had it when you created the disk image thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you for watching